Did I just make a party of it? I'd have your friends doing this. Tonight I'm gonna pick myself a fight. To season or not to season? That's the question upon us this morning, folks. That is the question. I have in front of me here the Hammer Forge Beast Reverse Flow Offset Smoker. Say that ten times. The Hammer Forge Beast Reverse Flow Offset Smoker. And we're going to seize it this morning. People might say, Rico, why do you want to season? Well, I'm going to tell you. You know why? Three reasons why. The first reason why we season a new smoker or barbecue pit is so that we could burn off any chemical residues, paint residues, anything left in the smoker from the manufacturer. The number two reason why we season a brand new smoker is they say it protects the paint, uh, keeps it from fading maybe. Uh, stops and slow down rust. Slows down the rust. And I'm a, this, this, this bad boy right here, it weighs about 1,200 pounds. I think slowing down the rust on it's probably a pretty good idea. And the third reason is, if you'll put a fire in the firebox the first time without worrying about cooking, you get to see how the temperature fluctuates. You can play with the exhaust vent. You could go ahead and, uh, you know, play with these vents and the door. All good stuff when you're learning how to smoke. What I'm doing this morning is I'm going to go ahead and I, I went with, there's all kinds of freaking oils. I went with grapeseed oil. I'm going to squirt it all down. Any big puddles I'll wipe up in there. I'm going to put, I don't even know where it went, the thermometer, I'm going to put the thermometer in after I get the inside oiled up, shut the door, I'm going to oil the outside, put a fire in the firebox, run this thing for two to three hours, um, 350 to 400 degrees. Now they say, and I don't know who they are, they say you only need to do this once. I, I don't, it's, it's not necessarily like a cast iron pan where you're actually cooking on the smoker itself. But if you have time and you're not in a big rush to cook, man, I'd do it the second time. I'd do it a couple times and just get a good coating of oil on it. It's going to help with the cleanup, I think. Um, I'm only going to do it once because I'm excited and I want to get cooking on this. Maybe. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow morning and, 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 and season it one more time. I don't know yet. I appreciate you all stopping by the channel saying hi if it's your first time viewing us hey man please please subscribe hit the like button hit that notification bell so you can get all my other videos if you like what I'm doing by God give me a thumbs up and a comment I love comment youtubers they love the comments they like to read what uh, you know what you all have to say that's important let me make another cup of coffee and then uh, we'll get started doing this thing.
Whew. If you're like me, put on an old shirt and stuff because I probably ruined these shorts and this shirt, which shirt's no big deal, but these probably now my uh, Carhartt work shorts. I'm not going to spray as much on the outside because I'm going to do more of wiping it on. If it was me, you got to do this earlier, not, you know, I mean, of course I'm talking to you guys, but yeah, this needs to be done in the morning because it's cool. Uh, I would invite people over. I'd be cooking some breakfast burritos or something. And I just make a party of it and I'd have your friends doing this and not you. Tonight I'm gonna pick myself a fight. In some days of Call that good. Let's get the uh, the firebox. Let me let me get the inside of the firebox done. Forgot to do that. That box, hot box, uh, cold box, ashtray, whatever you want to call it, this thing is a beast. A beast! So we have a uh, we have a good fire going in the firebox. So I'm going to go ahead and close up the door. I'm going to let this thing go probably three hours. So I won't I won't film me coming and checking unless something temperature goes up to a million degrees or something like that. But it shouldn't. We got smoke coming out of the smokestack. We got fire in the firebox. Okay. That's it until I check back with you in a few hours, guys. All right, appreciate you hanging out, and uh, we'll see you here in a little while. Good morning again. Yesterday, I was going to burn this thing, because we're seasoning it, of course, and yesterday, I was going to burn it just a couple, couple, three hours or so. But I decided, because I got... Well, I'll be honest with you. I got watching a movie or something in there in the house, but I decided I put a few more pieces of wood in the firebox and I just let the, the thing burn itself out uh, and wasn't going to worry about it till the next morning. And this is the next morning. So I don't know if you could tell a difference. It Wind was blowing last night, so we do have a coating of dust over the Hammer Forge Beast here. Uh, but it looks pretty good. You, you could actually tell... that there's some oil on it. I don't know if I did the door or not. I think what I'm going to do, I may I may dust it all off and oil the outside and just do a real quick burn on the outside just again because there's some I don't know, that's what I might do. 
Well, let me uh, let me show you what the inside looks like, and we'll do like a little comparison of the grates before the uh, seasoning and after the seasoning. That's all I got. Leave me a comment down below. If you have any questions about seasoning your grill or your pit, leave me a comment. Ask me a question. I'll, I'll give you my answer. It may not be the right one, but I'll give you my answer. Um, as always, guys, this is Rico, Tie-Dye Cowboy. Wishing you and your family well. Keep on cooking, grilling, and smoking. Salute, my friends.